Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up and deposit $100 now to get two free stocks. The link is down in the description. In this video, we're going to talk about SPHD, the, the YouTube ETF that everyone talks about, that everyone thinks is the best monthly paying dividend stock, the best monthly paying dividend ETF. In this video, if you stick to the end, you're going to find out that SPHD might not be the best monthly paying ETF. So make sure you stick to the end of this video to find out which ETF outperformed SPHD and is also outperforming the S&P 500 and it's also a monthly paying dividend stock. But enough talking, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Hey, before we get started, I forgot to tell you to hit that thumbs up button. It's just a, it's just a simple button that kind of looks like this right here. Just go ahead, click that. It really helps out this channel a lot. And it's really just one simple click away. So scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, destroy it if you want to. It really helps me out or not. But I forgot to say that. Anyways, back to the video. All right, here we are, YouTube. We're over on Seeking Alpha. The three stocks we're going to look at today is SPHD, PEY, in SPLV. All of these stocks are monthly paying dividend stocks. Now, the reason why SPHD is so popular and why YouTubers talk about it all the time is because it's such a dependable and easy stock to get into, and it has a high dividend yield of 5.51%. That is a very large dividend yield for a monthly paying dividend stock, a monthly paying dividend ETF, which pays out around 15 cents per share. Right now, SPHD is at $33.91. Remember, it has a 5.51 dividend yield. The next stock we're going to look at is ticker symbol PEY. It's Invesco Exchange Traded Fund Trust. It is also a high yield equity dividend uh, ETF. This one comes in at 5.28% dividend yield, which pays out around six cents per share. And it's also a monthly paying dividend stock. They have increased their dividends over the last six years. And right now their price stock is around $14.64 at the recording of this video. And the last one that we're gonna look at is SPLV, Invesco S&P 500 Low Volatility ETF. Now this one has the lowest dividend yield out of all three with a 2.47 dividend yield paying out around 10 cents per share and has the highest price at $53.65 per share it increased its dividend yield over the last four years and it also a monthly pan dividend stock now we're going to dive in a little deeper in this video and see what do these companies actually hold inside of their portfolios so let's look at SPHD their holdings now we take a look at SPHD holdings their top two is real estate with 19.77% of their portfolio and the next one is utilities with 14.94% of their portfolios their top 10 holdings is WMB RRM MO GILD Philip Morris D General Mills IBM, AT&T, and PGR. These top 10 of their holdings is around 28% of their total portfolio. They hold 51 positions in their portfolio and these are the top 10. So SPHD is really, really heavy on the real estate stocks. They have almost 20% worth of their holdings is in real estate stocks. Now let's take a look at PEY and their holdings. So their top two is financials with 26.13% and utilities with 18.43%. Their top 10 is HP, AVA, OKE, MO, ExxonMobil, UNM, Aura, CMA, NWBI, and LAZ. These top 10 of their holdings is around 29.97% of their portfolio and they also hold 51 different holdings in their portfolio. So if we take a look, it's a little different. SPHD, their top is real estate, and PEY, their top is financials. And the last one that we're gonna look at is SPLV. Let's take a look at their holdings. 
Their top two is healthcare with over 25% worth of their holdings, and then consumer defensive with 23% of their holdings. Take a look at their top 10. It's VZ, Clorox, I love Clorox, uh, e eBay, Amazon, C-E-R-N, G-R-M-N, G-D, H-R-L, C-H-R-W, and Dollar General. I actually hold a couple of these in my portfolio right now. Uh, these top 10 is only 11.88% worth of their holdings, and they hold around 101 different companies, different stocks inside of their ETF portfolio. So this one has the lowest dividend payout, but also have 100 different companies, and they also have many different companies that don't pay out dividends, like Amazon inside of their portfolio, inside of their top 10. So we take a look at the difference. SPHD is really heavy on real estate. PEY is really heavy on financials. And SPLV is really heavy on healthcare. Now I know you're wondering, how does this help me decide which stock is the best? Well, let me show you guys right now. If you decided to invest into each of these companies back in 2012 until now, which one outperformed the S&P 500 and which one would give you the best return on your dollar? So now we're going to go over and back test these different portfolios. The start year is 2012, the end year is 2020. Uh, let's say we started off with $10,000 in our portfolio in 2012. Cash flow, none. Rebalancing annually, no rebalancing. Um, display income, yes. Reinvest our dividends, of course. That's what we're trying to figure out. And then our first one is going to be S. PHD. Our second one is going to be PEY. And our last one is going to be SPLV. There we go. Portfolio number one, SPHD is going to be 100. PEY is going to be portfolio two with 100%. And SPLV is going to be also 100 with 100%. And let's go ahead and name these portfolios. SPHD, PEY, SPLV. And there we go. So what we're about to find out is if we invested $10,000 back in 2012 and then, re and then not invest anymore into the stock market, but only reinvest our dividends every single month, which one of these companies will perform the best? Okay, so we're gonna click on Analyze Portfolio. And there you go, let's scroll down. SPHD portfolio number one. Right now, all the way back in 2012, we will now have $18,500, that's SPHD. PEY comes in second with $20,558, and then SPLV outperformed all three of them with $22,875. So this is a, that is a very large gap from SPHD with $18,500 to 22,875. That is a difference of $4,300. That now that's no that's no joking matter. That is, that is a lot of money. Let's scroll down a little bit as you guys can see. Um everyone says that SPHD is not that volatile, but the worst year that it went down was 21%. So I actually had a max drawdown of 30%. The worst year was 21%. The highest that it's ever went up was 22%. PEY went down just as much as SPHD did, but SPLV, because they have over 101 holdings, they own the most they went down was 7% in one year with a max drawdown of minus 21%. Now, the, the company that had the best year was PEY, and the second best year was SPLV. So SPHD did not win in any category at all. So let's scroll down just a little bit. The annual return rate is right here. Let's look at 2013 and then 2019. And then portfolio income, this is our dividends. Uh, 2020 is not done yet, but here it is. Um, in the very beginning, reinvesting, you'll make around $436 every single year from dividends from SPHD. 400 from PEY and 300 from SPLV. In 2019, you'll be making $860 of dividends from SPHD, $965 in dividends from PEY. 
So now you'll be making even more from dividends in PEY than you would in SPHD, even though SP, SPHD have a higher dividend payout, but you have more money in PEY. And then the last one is SPLV. Now you won't be making as much monthly income from dividends from holding SPLV, but even with reinvesting, your account would say $22,875. And with reinvesting SPHD, you only have $18,506. So these two companies off the back is already better than SPHD. So this really is going to be a deciding factor for me and maybe for you, for you guys to decide, do I really want to invest into SPHD for the dividends or should I invest into other quality ETFs? But I know what you're saying. Hey, what if I bought the dip? What if I bought the dip? Let's go back in and change it up all right so here we go let's say you only started off with a thousand dollars back in 2012 cash flow yes all right so we're going to invest so me personally i invest 200 dollars every single week so that's 800 dollars a month so let's see how that plays out 800 dollars monthly $800 monthly, yes, no rebalancing, here we go. And let's say we started off with $1,000 back in 2012 and reinvested $800 every single month. Let's see if that changes the results at all. Analyze portfolio and scroll down. Woo wee, I should have started back in 2012. All right, so with, re with investing $200 every single month into these three companies, starting off with just $1,000, SPHD, you would have, you would have eighty-eight thousand seven hundred and eighty-six dollars. PEY, you would have ninety-two thousand eight hundred and thirty-four dollars. And SPLV, you would have over one hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Let's calculate the difference on that right quick. So that is a difference of twenty-two thousand three hundred dollars. Twenty-two thousand three hundred dollars. That's a that's a Honda Civic right there. $22,300. That's a Honda Civic. That's a whole car. Our dividends, a monthly dividends that important to invest into SPHD because you're going to say, "Hey, I'm going to be getting a 5% dividend yield on $88,000 while you're only getting a 2% dividend yield on $111,000." Or it's the growth of your portfolio and still getting dividends more important. So, invest in quality ETFs that pay dividends. Hopefully this helped you guys out a lot to see which um, ETF, monthly paying ETFs that you guys want to invest in. Uh, SPHD, just out of these three stocks that I've been researching, that I've been looking up, SPHD have lost to these two. I've compared SPHD to a couple of other ones. It beat out maybe two other ones and lost to two other ones. I will discuss those in a future video. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, make sure you subscribe to this video. But yeah, guys, SPHD, is not king so with all that being said i'm over on robin hood i did fall into the sphd youtube trap everyone on youtube talks about sphd and how great it is so i do own about 30 shares of sphd i'm gonna show you guys how much i get paid in dividends every single month from um, sphd let's scroll down dividends there you go i've been getting paid out over four and a half dollars every single month from sphd my latest one was around for 29 shares. I have one coming in August for holding 30 shares. So I do hold 30 shares of SPHD. And I started off with just two shares of SPHD. So that's amazing. I did have amazing growth from SPHD over the years. I had a fun time with this company. I'm gonna hold on to it just to collect these dividends. But I did just today started to buy into PEY because it pays uh, a great percentage of dividends it outperforms the s p 500 and it outperform sphd so i bought two shares of this company the other day and i'm going to reload up on pey until i get around 100 shares of pey and then i'm going to try to splv was so expensive i can't get 100 shares of splv yet so i'm going to load up on that second after i get pey to around 100 shares it's at 14 dollars and 64 cents right now so yeah guys if you like this video make sure that you scroll down and hit that thumbs up button destroy the thumbs up button it's the button it kind of look like a thumbs up just go ahead and hit that like button it really helps out the youtube algorithm a lot take a lot of time making these videos and that is the best way that you can help youtube creators is by hitting a simple 
button. Also, you can subscribe if you want to, if you don't want to miss out on any future videos. Hopefully this video helped you decide on how to do your research on what ETF is best for you, other than just looking at the dividend yield of these ETFs, the dividend yield of these stocks. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.